one. Let me play Trader Five real quick. You stink. Hey, hey. Stretch. I gotta play Trader. Hey, play me the five real quick. What? I mean, Stefan Diggs, he's opened up the whole offense because now you have a go-to guy who could do everything. Next person up about to get a record is Trayvon Diggs. Absolutely. Talk about Five it. Five picks, four games. Talk about it, bro. Ridiculous. Just Ridiculous. don't throw his way. Money don't make you. The money gonna break you. The money only makes you more of who you already are. Your family, bro. Like, I always make my family proud. Like, I'm never not. Like, he a special person, you know? He ain't raised on fool. He raised me. I used to eat here in college. One thing about him, he gonna figure it out no matter what it is. Like, he could be in a zoo. We could be in the Amazon and <laughs> figure it out. <laughs> and I'll be right there with him figuring it out. <laughs> so, you know, that's just that's just how we was raised. That's how we was brought up. Like, just figure it out. Even if, I, even if we didn't text or call, like, we will be sending each other something on Instagram. Yeah. We do that shit all day. Stretch it down, stretch it down. There you go. 16, let's go! Come on, bring your upper body up high. Form a, form a V, form a V. You did not form a V. You did, I did, I definitely I formed you. a V. I watched you too. I watched you. You watched me? Yes. Yeah. I'll tell you, you what. You gonna do I'm it now. Grab, no, I'm gonna grab heavier weight. You didn't do it. You, you tell me am I forming a V? You didn't do it earlier. Yeah, I didn't do it early. I'm doing it right now. So? Yeah, I know. You ain't do the whole thing. Yeah, I know. I know. They say like it take a village to like raise a kid and like so many people played a part like in kind of like keeping him like straight. Like I never had no concern about like him ever being okay, especially at the crib because like so many people like, you know, they, they got respect for me and they got love for me. So when it came to my little brother, like they see my little brother, they gonna give him a hundred times the love they give me just because he like, he the next one coming. And I always appreciated that just from another level of like trying to be that like father figure that I didn't really have to do it by myself. Like I had like basically a village of people making sure my little brother was good. So like that blueprint, all we always say that like the blueprint is real. Like you follow the blueprint, you're gonna be fine. Like when you try to do something other than what I'm saying, other than the blueprint, that's when things get a little like shaky. But man, like, if you follow the blueprint, like, it's proven that it worked. You think he can beat me? Bark it. Uh-uh. Go ahead. That's nice. more than three dribbles. That was three dribbles, right? You can't shoot. <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh! Strength for me, personally, strength can come from many different areas. Like as far as like being mentally tough, being physically tough, and regarding to my brother is more so what I would talk about. Just as far as like being mentally tough and being like being able to weather the storm. We both dealt with like some serious battles as far as like you know with the death of our father being young. I was young, but he was younger than me. So I can't imagine how he, how he had to deal with it and you know how we fought through it kind of like together like learning how to be without a learning how to be without a dad and kind of keep pushing forward. Strength comes from many different areas. You know, it usually comes from pain and it kind of like you kind of got to thrive off of that. You know, I've seen him be in many different situations as far as like with college and you know even him getting injured and you know like he even had a kid early, you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that kind of gives you strength and gives you motivation. So as far as like him, he's a prime example of being mentally tough and, and weathering the storm. You know, uh, he had to go through it to get through it, and he got through it and came out on the other side. All of those things that happened to us growing up, you know, it played a big part into our success now. <laughs> big tall ass, old school move. In high school, I used to see him, I used to watch him. I used to go to all his games. You know, his games used to be packed. Like a council was so packed. It looked like a college game. My brother really, really good at football. He's doing something right. He got to be doing something right. Yo, foul, 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 foul. That's not a foul. Foul, foul, foul. That's not a foul. Stiff on me. No, I didn't. Uh, we got two different personalities, you know, but 
just the love, you know, everybody want to be loved, everybody want to have that love. So just seeing that and seeing where, you know, this football thing could take you, you know, it was kind of special to me and idolizing. And, you know, I really just appreciate it. So, you know, I got to see when he went to college, how everything was. I used to be up in Maryland every day, <laughs> every weekend. In college. In college, he in college. I'm in high school now, ninth grade. That probably kept me out of trouble, being up there with him, you know, being right there with him. And he looking after me, you know, he got his teammates right there looking, making sure I'm straight. So, you know, it was just, everything worked out how it's supposed to. And I got to see a lot of stuff that a lot of people, you know, my age didn't get to see, you know. And I never made no like bad decisions or bad choices. You know, I'm just watching, just watching and learning. That's two. Going to my spot, Jay. <laughs> Shot. Go to my spot. That's his only to shot. My spot. That's the only place he can shoot from. Appreciate y'all. Nice. Nice to meet y'all. Nice, 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 nice to see you, bro. Appreciate you. What's that, bro? Rum, uh, rum and raisin. I'm an old head. For real, for real. Rum raisin. Yes, yes. What's your name? Cake. I'm Stefan. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Rum already by itself is not bad, but the raisin give it a little. Uh -uh. Give it a little. Uh -uh. Yeah, I got two oxtails and I got jerk chicken. I always get the same thing though. You heard me? Check. You got mac and cheese? They got you didn't get my orange soda. You got yams? They got yams. You remember this? I hate Y'all remember that from yeah. earlier, right? Look. Uh, yeah. Remember this from earlier? No. That's just who they were about to see. Best hoes prepare the food. Best hoes to go to Dodge. Just name me pray, man. Right now we got Drake Pitt. I used to eat here in college. After like workouts and when everybody was eating healthy. <laughs> Right now we're headed to Chanel. It's a special woman, uh, Stephanie Diggs. Mi madre, his madre. Uh, it's a special day for her, so we're gonna go get her some stuff, surprise her on Mother's Day. It's cool, but kind of keep it in perspective of it still being things. Growing up, we didn't have a lot of things, but you know, at this point, you know, everything is based off of love. And what better way to you know, give it back on a special day. Buy some nice things and, you know, spend some time with her. Show your appreciation. Is this a new one? Mm-hmm. He's a special person, you know. He ain't raised on four. He raised me. So it's like, I know, I know what he's going to do. Like, I know what, what he's capable of. Like, as far as my son, he look up to his uncles, you know? He look up to his dad, he look up to his uncle. Like, he literally watch us all the time, you know? So, like, just, we keep that love, you know? We keep that love in our family. We keep our bond in our family with everybody, and everybody gonna be all right. Just follow the blueprint. Mm -hmm. I don't know if my daughter gonna grab 11 picks, but... <laughs> like, I want him to have a couple more all pros. Like, I want him to be a legend. Like, you mentioned the best corners ever to play. Like, I just want his name to, like, be, like, right there. Like, not, like, in the, like, afterthought. Like, no, nah, I want him to be, like, nah. Y'all don't remember seven? He used to wear 27. Y'all don't even know he wore 27. Like, he wore seven majority of his career. Even when I'm done playing, I want to cut my TV on and be like, man, let me see what this, man, let me see what he got going on. Is he booking the day or is he playing the day? You know what I'm saying? That's all. I want him to get that gold jacket. I feel like he the best. Like, he the best receiver out right now. I don't care who, you know what I'm saying, who you think is better than him. They're not. He the best. And I want him to have that gold jacket, you know? Last seen the work he put in. He worked hard. He worked way harder than me, like way harder. <laughs> <laughs> like legit, like he, used to, he worked real, real hard. So I just see, you know, just seeing everything. And I want him to get everything that he deserves. I want him to get everything he worked for, honestly. I want to be like him. I want to do what he's doing on the field because that's clearly what a success at. <laughs>